Should we be paying more for games? Former Sony boss Sean Layden seems to think that game budgets are out of control compared to what publishers charge for them. Speaking to GamesBeat and first reported by GamesIndustry.biz, Layden heaped praise on The Last of Us Part II, a game that was developed while he was still at Sony. Layden spoke about how the game takes about 10 hours longer to beat than the first, but also took almost twice as long to develop, which was around six years, and likely cost a lot more too. And he pointed out both games still retailed around 60 US dollars at launch. According to Layden, the time and cost to develop AAA titles is becoming unsustainable for the games industry. He explained that game development costs for a massive AAA title are around 80 to 150 million dollars for this generation of games. And that's before marketing costs. Development time could take up to five years or more. Layden said, quote, I don't think that in the next generation you can take those numbers and multiply them by two and think that you can grow. I think the industry as a whole needs to sit back and go, all right, what are we doing? What's the audience expectation? What is the best way to get our story across and say what we need to say? So following Sean Layden's logic, development costs could balloon to around $300 million in the coming PS5, Xbox Series X generation. And Layden pointed out those AAA games are still retailing for $60. He warned that gamers could see a change at the register saying, quote, if you don't have elasticity in the price point, but you have huge volatility on the cost line, the model becomes more difficult. I think this generation is going to see those two imperatives collide. We're rich! Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jackie! Right. <laughs> Jack? So does that mean that we could see a price hike for games in the near future? It's not entirely out of the question. In previous console generations, games were priced around $50 or less, but now we've been accustomed to paying $60 for regular no-frills editions of many games. To offset the massive strain constant AAA development could place on a studio, Layden suggested developers reconsider making more modestly budgeted games that can be played in about 15 hours, as opposed to massive 80-hour-plus games. This could help control costs, maintain a standard retail price point, and help craft, quote, tighter, more compelling content. And Layden knows a thing or two about game development from a developer and publisher side. He managed software development at Sony's London studio, then became president of Sony Computer Entertainment Japan before holding the title of president and CEO of SCEA. He served as chairman of SIE Worldwide until September 2019. You gotta be kidding me. So what do you think, IGN audience? According to Layden, the era of 4K HDR graphics isn't coming cheap. Are you prepared to pay more for something like, say, Grand Theft Auto 6? Or do you want developers to focus on smaller games rather than pushing out AAA titles every quarter? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you on the next IGN Now. We're happy to present IGN's Summer of Gaming, featuring the latest and greatest in game reveals, news, trailers, next-gen coverage, and more. Our month-long event features our first-ever series of IGN Expos, where you'll get first looks at world premiere game trailers, exclusive game demos, and interviews you won't find anywhere else. IGN's Summer of Gaming, only on IGN and IGN One on Samsung TV+.